said this video is something I've been wanting to sit down and film for you guys for quite some time. It's not an easy one to sit down and talk about and I think that might be why I kind of have pushed it off as long as I have, but I really want to get the message out to you guys about what's going on and share what I have have to update you guys with. So I figured I would film an updated infertility and PCOS journey. So I'm going to get you guys that today and here we go. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to those of you who are new. My name is Brianna Weiler and today I'm going to be sharing with you an update on my journey with PCOS, infertility, and weight loss, dealing with all of that and just my feelings on everything. I'm going to probably do it in like little increments like PCOS, infertility, and um, weight loss and PCOS are kind of side by side so those might go together and then my feelings on everything and how everything's going and dealing with infertility and all of that fun not so fun stuff and welcome to those of you who are new on my channel I know I have a lot of new subscribers and thank you so much for that if you are new and you're watching this video, please subscribe. I am going to continue doing updates on our journey with infertility and IVF and our process going through that. So I'm gonna get into this video and share with you guys what we've been up to. So I'm gonna start with my PCOS slash weight loss and let you guys know how it's been going and what I've been doing with summertime. I've kind of been off my Weight Watchers tracking like daily like I was um, but I have been eating better than what I used to. I have been able to keep off. I When I started Weight Watchers in August of last year I had weighed I, when I weighed in I was at 205. I am staying under 195. Typically I'm at 194 right now so I have lost 10 pounds in that year, not doing Weight Watchers religiously and keeping with it regularly. And that is something I want to continue with. Weight Watchers is something that is maintainable lifelong for a lifelong journey. And I think that's why it has worked for me as much as it has. I also have cut out soda that has helped me with my weight loss as well. Um, I don't, I drink it very seldom now. Maybe when we go out to eat, I'll get one, but it's, most of the time I order water. I've been drinking way more water than what I used to, which I'm very proud of because I used to be, water just wasn't my thing. And, but I love water now. I fill my cup up several times a day. It's a 30 ounce stainless steel tumbler. So it stays cool all day long and I'm more likely to drink it. Um, Weight Watchers, I'm gonna get back onto that. But I also feel like when I was losing was when I not cut out, when I limited my amount of gluten intake and I haven't been doing so great with that. I've eaten pasta and breads and whatnot and you can do that. You can enjoy your life and enjoy all of that with PCOS and on Weight Watchers, but I've done, I've done some research and I've read some things online that gluten can cause PCOS to, um, like to aggravate your PCOS. So I try to stay away from it as much as possible and the same with dairy. And dairy, I've always had a problem with like eating, when I eat dairy, my stomach just isn't right. So I've just, for the most part, eliminated dairy. I will have cheese on things, but I try not to eat it all the time. Like my ice cream, I try not to eat a ton of it. I love ice cream, but I try to limit that to as little as possible and or and or use like the dairy free options like the almond milk ice cream and cashew they have so many different options now that are so good um and to me they taste not the same but very similar to having ice cream so it's a good treat every now and again i am trying i'm going to try and get back into a workout routine whether it be at home or going into the gym at our apartment complex I'm going to be trying to get back into that so that way I can lose more weight so that way I'm healthier for whenever we do start our IVF process and I'm not gaining a ton and being way overweight when I do end up getting pregnant. So that is the PCOS 
and weight loss portion, I am going to, I'm going to get into the IVF portion and share with you where we're at on that. Sorry for the glare on my glasses. I'm sitting in front of the window. It's one of the best spots, but at the same time wearing glasses, you can see the glare from the window. <laughs> um, but I am going to share with you that as well. So for, as for the IVF portion of my PCOS journey and trying to have a baby, we are looking at IVF as our option. Um, we are looking at IVF as our option and I was told by our doctor that that is pretty much our only option. It's not an end all be all and conceiving naturally can still happen. So I'm not on any kind of birth control or anything like that to help potentially, hopefully praying to Jesus that we get a miracle baby naturally. So we have kind of put a IVF is kind of like at a standstill right now. My husband's job is a term position and sadly will be coming to an end shortly. So we are dealing with all of that. And knowing that we didn't want to start the IVF process here in North Dakota and then potentially be moving out of state. So we are kind of at a standstill with that for now. It's still potentially in our future, but we're also praying for our miracle baby and any and all prayers, positive vibes, positive thoughts, whatever you think and believe in, please send them our way. We need them. And hoping that, you know, one day, Lord willing, we will have our baby. But IVF is kind of on the standstill now and we have talked about it and we didn't think it would be smart to go through with the whole IVF process and going through all of that stuff and knowing that we would be moving and having to transport and do stuff and figure things out after the fact just would have been a lot and a lot more added money on top of it already not being cheap to go through the IVF process. It is nowhere near cheap and insurance does not cover majority of what IVF entails. So with that being said, it's kind of on a standstill just for now. We're waiting for a little bit, figuring out where life is taking us. That is the IVF portion of this video. It's not a whole lot to update you on and I will try and record when it comes time for it, videos leading up to the IVF process and all of that and how we handle it and how we, how I handle it emotionally and whatnot. So I am more than willing to share my thoughts and feelings on that whole process with you guys. I want to be open about it because I want other people to know what it's like and it's not cheap. It's not something that like people just go into without thinking about and knowing that this is our only option. Like it's not the easy way out. It's definitely not easy emotionally, financially, in any sense of the word easy. It is not easy, but we will make it through. And yeah, so I am going to share with you my feelings on everything from IVF to infertility to PCOS and weight loss and all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to share with you my feelings on the process and processing what it means to go through infertility, to have to go through IVF, to have PCOS and try and manage weight loss with that. And I feel like dealing with all of that is a roller coaster of emotions. You can be happy, I can be happy one day, and like nothing is going on because you don't physically see or feel what what it is to go through this. It's something that you think, if you think about it, then you feel like those emotions I feel like are what comes up is when you're thinking about, oh, what could be, what will be one day or what, you know, what life is for us and our future. And I think that's when the sad emotions come because it's not an easy process. I am happy that we know this is you know, something we can do. It's a possibility. We have a strong likelihood, but IVF is not a 100% guarantee that you will get a kid, a baby. It won't give you what you're looking for necessarily, but it's from what it sounds like, our odds are slightly higher. It's not like it's completely impossible. I don't have, you know, too many things that are in the way of potentially conceiving. So, I am hopeful 
for what the future holds for us. And I just want to ask you guys for your prayers, thoughts, positive thoughts, vibes, whatever you believe in and feel, please send them our way. I am happy to share our journey with you guys so that way people who are going through IVF or you know somebody who's going through IVF or infertility or PCOS, it's not an easy process to deal with. And if I can be of help in any way, I want to be. And that is why I share our journey. Hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know if you know somebody or you don't just let me know you're here. I want to get to know you guys. I love getting to know you guys in the comments and I appreciate all your love and support on my channel as it continues to grow. And I hope you guys like this video. I will be continuing to make videos like this, updating you guys on where we're at. And I will bring you guys some more content that you like soon. I hope you guys like this video. Bye.